this CAD clip will uh, give you a couple of tips on uh, putting in cable tray um, and the biggest tip that um, I can provide is to provide a generous amount of um, length to the cable tray and it also applies to duct work um, to provide the bends. The bends in these uh, cable trays in, uh, in particular are quite large so you really have to provide ample space better to make it bigger and then squeeze it down than to try to draw it tight because then it'll give you errors and funny reactions so um, we'll just draw in some cable tray here and I'll pick on my cable tray tool Revit's asking me to save I don't need to I can pick a cable tray type inside of here and then I can start to draw now I'm was last at 16 feet okay I look at my width my height offset and then there's the bend radius over here which is quite important so um, we can pick off of a list over here for these items and we can pick on here and if we've used the number before it'll show up otherwise we can just type in a new number um, and then we can also use this apply button to do vertical pieces of pipe. So what we'll try here is I'm on the level one um, power plant. So let's just set, before I do anything, I'll just set this to be zero. I'll accept these sizes. You can change them if you want. And now I've, I've set that to be zero. And what I'm going to do is go in this view. Because it's active, I might have to make it active first. And then I'm just going to pick a point. Now instead of drawing that piece of ductwork this way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here, now that I've picked that point, change it to be 9 feet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover back in here and then go hit apply. And what that does is it draws a vertical piece of ductwork just like that. And then it leaves me in the ductwork tool but terminates the connection. So now I can just hover over here. I don't have to necessarily say inherit elevation when I pick there. It's going to pick on there and then I can off I go. Now, if I plan on going vertically again, this is where you really have to provide a lot of space because you have to provide enough space to do a 30 inch radius um, under a meter. Um, and then you have to provide a, a section of cable uh, tray, then you need to do another 30 inch space. So better to go you know generously big so I'm gonna to go to here and you can see it draws that bend in now what I want to do is go up vertically again so I'm gonna go back up to here and I can either type in a number or pick a number I've used before go back into here and then hit apply boom it adds that in and you can see even with that amount of space doesn't leave me a lot of room in there okay now to start drawing again from here because it's out of my view range etc I could switch to you know a different view um, uh, my level 2 but I can also just hit escape to stop this okay and then I can click over here zoom in a little bit the best way to draw anything in MEP from a from a pipe or a ductwork or cable tray or wire is to pick it right click on the connector and say draw a cable tray and then off you go. Now if I want to again start to, just for fun go across and down I really need to provide enough space in here see how much room it, this took to do this this S turn here so I really want to go out a decent distance and then pick and then now if I want to start to go down again I can just go back to my offset set it back to be you know zero if I want and then hit apply boom does the bend does it down and then it kind of stops from there I can hover over there can I grab that connector shift middle mouse button there it is click shift middle mouse button back okay start to drag again use your shift key to keep that nice and straight now I want to go over a good enough distance because then I'm gonna go up again maybe I'll go to you know now I have to be careful here if I say only like four or five feet that's not gonna be enough because I want to go horizontal again so I'm gonna go up at least let's say seven feet just to be safe and then I'm gonna hit apply it's gonna go up seven feet and then I use my shift key drag across and 
Oh, I need to go far enough to provide that bend. So that didn't uh, work so good. And if you'll notice over here, you could see that there was a section here and it looked like it was actually rotating that uh, cable tray was coming up vertically. So that's, you know, kind of typical. So, uh, that you know, it doesn't matter. We'll kind of uh, work our way through it. So let's try this again. We're going to pick on here. And the best way always is to right click on here and say draw a cable tray. And we're going to, you see, it does look like it's not coming off um, straight. So let's leave the automatically uh, connect. I don't think I need to do that. I'm going to take the automatically connect off so it doesn't touch anything up here. Let's go back up here and hit seven feet again. And I'm going to make sure I hit enter. And then I'm going to hit apply. And there we go, that works a little bit better. Now I have the vertical part in there. Remember, we had to make sure we had enough length in here to get this to work. Now we want to go horizontal again, so I can hover over that connector, pick on there. Again, this length here has to be long enough. Using my shift key, I can drag to the right. And I, this is where, again, I probably want to have automatically connect off uh, so it doesn't grab any of this stuff over here and then click to the right and it'll put that bend in. Now coming down, it might be getting close here. I don't know if I've got, once again, enough room in here. Uh, let's try it. Let's go down to three feet and let's hit an enter and then let's hit apply and down it goes. So it worked. And then once we have that, we have to go back and grab that connector again. Another way to do this is to switch this to wireframe and then you'll be able to see that connector there and then if you say automatically connect it'll actually automatically connect to, to other ductwork and stuff like that so um, we don't need to do that so there's a couple of tips on um, doing uh, some nice cable tray kind of a little bit of a loop-de-loop -loop for you there and some tips on doing that um, vertically is really the challenge as far as as doing it in plan view and changing the the uh, heights that way is quite easy we can just go into here and we can do cable train we can start at you know let's say we go through zero so we go zero to here and then we click and then if we change this to say three feet and then we go to here it'll actually put that rise in and then after we're at three feet again we need to provide enough room to do that transition um, and then we can say okay now we're gonna go to seven feet up over here puts that transition in there and then if we wanted to go vertical we could go up to 16 feet and oh I wonder if we have enough inside of here let's hit apply and we do uh, has been modified to be in the opposite direction um, delete element that's okay I think it's some little piece of ductwork in there so when you're doing this type of ductwork it's actually uh, a little bit easier when it's changing and going this way it's only when you start to kind of go vertical where it gets tricky but notice in here again look there wasn't a whole lot of room to make that transition in there so uh, always give yourself enough room same as uh, if you're adding uh, widths and uh, etc. If you start your cable train, you say, okay, I'm going to start with a 30 inch by 6, and you go like this. Um, oh, let's change our height here to be 0. And you pick, and then you say, okay, now I'm going to go to, you know, a 24 by uh, 5. Okay, and you can also set your justification here and then you pick on here you have to make sure you leave enough room to do the transitions etc and then we can go you know back up again doesn't matter and by six and then change the elevation to be three feet and then pick over here and do we need to go a bit further Click, there we go. You see you had to provide enough space in there. Escape, escape. Okay, shift middle mouse button. So provide enough uh, space to do all of your little uh, fittings in your ductwork and then throw a section in here anytime you want to go in and have a look at this.
and then change your detail level to be fine detail and then go in and maybe do some measurements etc inside of there and you know see what what actually has to happen from there you can take these guys and just pick on them and use your arrow keys and nudge them around away you go you move the straight stuff and the bends will move with it until they error out and don't have enough space in there so Lots of fun with uh, cable tray and ductwork.